You know, if you think about it, it's beginning to feel a lot like the 80s and 90s in the NBA, back when they played real basketball, not like the 2000s when you had all these guys running around on super teams, which can be defined as three or more major cats wrecking shop on the same squad, like a Steph Curry, a Klay Thompson, and a Kevin Durant at Golden State. They won a championship, or LeBron James and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Add them together, and it equaled a championship, or LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh all there together on the Miami Heat championship squad. And it's so lopsided that we as fans go into the season knowing how it's going to shake out. I mean, with Golden State, we really could have said Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green because that core won it all too. So obviously when they gave a Golden State jersey to Kevin Durant, you knew exactly what it was going to be. And that was so clear this past NBA Finals when Durant went down with an injury and then Clay got hurt. And we ended up with Kawhi Leonard wrapping those big hands of his around the Larry OB after he led the Toronto Raptors to the title. But appreciate what we're seeing now because it appears that the days of the big threes, the super teams, have transitioned, at least for this coming season. Now, LeBron is still trying to have a semblance of a big three by getting Boogie Cousins to join him and Anthony Davis on the Los Angeles Lakers, but Boogie keeps getting banged up, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But consider the other movement in NBA free agency. I mean, there's Kawhi Leonard and Paul George getting together with the Los Angeles Clippers. A duo, not a trio, or Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving hooking up with the Brooklyn Nets. And until we see what Boogie has left, LeBron and Anthony Davis are poised to be a dynamic duo just like the old days when it was harder to win NBA titles. I mean, think about it. Bradley Beal and John Wall with the Washington Wizards. A dynamic duo, but no title. Paul George and Russell Westbrook with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Dynamic together, plenty of bling, but no ring. Makes you appreciate what Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen were doing with the Chicago Bulls back in the day. Because tell the truth. I mean, think back to watching Saturday morning cartoons when the Super Friends used to come on, right? I mean, it was cool to see an assembly of so much talent out there whooping up on everybody. But didn't you like it better when it was just Batman and Robin on their own show? Just those two running around beating everybody's butt? But they're not going to rook us. No, no, no. Take that for data.